Hey guys, it's JFC and the Snakes here, and today I will be doing the June 2015 snake update. Uh, in this video, we'll be going over all the uh, snakes in my collection currently, going over their setups and how they're doing. So, we'll start with Car here, and uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. So, moving on into Car's cage, here he is in the. Oh, hi, this is the Swell Large Cave. It's down. So here he is, this is him, he's currently growing a bit, getting nice and big, I think he weighs around 600 grams at the moment, and uh, yeah, he's looking really, really nice, see he's got some lovely orange colours here, and yeah, I tried to get him out as, as much as possible, and uh, we'll see if we can give him a little run around here, so here he is. Really good, really, really good feeder, like he always has been, and uh, he's got really nice patterns. But yeah, this car, and uh, now we'll get into his enclosure. Okay, so in the enclosure at the back, he's got this. Um, this is an aquarium decoration. The next week we've got another aquarium decoration here it's extremely similar it's just a different color then in the middle we have the exoterra medium water dish put in his hide back and then over the other side we have another aquarium uh statue and then we have this uh branch that i got from a pet shop near me and then we've got the exoterra large hide and there we've got a 50, uh, 75 watt bulb uh, in a cage on the uh, how we start dimming start here. And uh, yeah, this is his cage. Um, it's a really nice cage. Um, not very really expensive setup, but he seems to like it. I also got beach chips here. And now we'll move on to Coco. Okay, so moving on to Coco now. Um, I have these exoterra plant and then another swell uh, hide here. I've just got another random piece of wood, another piece of wood, aquarium statue, and she's currently on these beach chips. Uh, moving along, we've got a humidity humidity gauge. If it'll focus, there we go. And then we've got this exoterra. I think it's an it might be a Komodo plant, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's uh, Exoterra. And then up here we've got a 75 watt bulb in a cage, and then Exoterra large uh, hide. So this is her a cage in full. Got this, and then over here. So her cage is really nice, uh, but if I just move this out of the way. You can see her under here. There she is. It's feeding day, so I don't want to touch her too much. But yeah, that's her. Now I'll move on to Aya. Okay, so this is Aya's cage. Uh, once again, she has another Exoterra plant here. I think it's going to put on there. And then she's currently really deep in shed. However, she is growing a lot. She's been feeding every week. Uh, this is Aya. She's a spider Mojave. If you want to know her information. There it is. And then this was Coco's. And then this was Cars. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, she's really deep in the shed. There she is. Uh, she's probably not going to eat today. However, you, you never know, she might do. And, uh,. This is her enclosure. Let me just put her hide back. Hopefully she'll eat today. However, some days, usually when she's in blue, she doesn't. Uh, another aquarium statue. A plant that I got off swell. I can't remember the make. Another piece of wood. A finger cactus. And then she's got a medium exoterra hide with this little water dish here and then she's also on beach chips almost next on beach chips and then this is the probe for the thermostat 
which is hooked up to the dimming set down there which has fallen off and uh, yeah this is a finger cactus which I, I'm thinking is look really nice at the moment I only got it a few days ago but yeah it's looking really nice and now we'll move on to Rug who's probably had the biggest change out of all of these but yeah uh, just don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying any of these videos uh, it really means a lot to me and we'll move on to Rug Okay, so moving on to Rug's cage, he has recently got this Exoterra medium hide, and then if I just grab this, there is currently at pointing just at ninety, I think. Shuttle focus, I want it focus. There we go, just at ninety degrees, and he's got this hide here. He's got a dinosaur skull in the middle. He's got a water dish here, and then he's got this big vine for him to climb on. And there you can see him over here. He's coming out to say hello. There he is. Really cool. Uh, he's, he's starting to outgrow the uh, coconut hives at the moment. So that's why I've got him this big one now that he can fitting easily and uh, last but not least we'll move on to Lalantos who still hasn't eaten in the seven months uh, I have taken him to the vet but they uh, he still failed to eat but I'll just show you his enclosure and here he's got um, an exoterra large hide and then, oh, this is the extra large hide. He's got an Exoterra medium water dish. And he's also got a, a large flex sticks that I got off from a, a local reptile shop. And then he's got this Exoterra 42 centimeter canopy, a plant, which is really cool. And then if I can find him, he's in here. No, he must be under this one. I think you can just see a bit of his tail there. There he is. Oh yeah, he's there. He's, uh, he's really one of my favourite snakes. And he would definitely be my favourite if he would just eat. But I don't know why he's not eating. I've tried a lot of things. But yeah, that can kind of concludes this for this episode. Um, and this collection tour. I'm really looking forward to Doncaster next week. And I hope to see you there. Um, let me know in the comments if you're going. And uh, I might be able to see you. But yeah, for this video, it's been J.O. Sims Snakes, and I'll see you all on Wednesday with a How I Edit My Videos video.